what is up everybody i'm mr man if you don't know this face get to know it get to get familiarized with it like it love it all right a lot of you guys follow me to learn about crypto news find out what's going on in the crypto space not a market yet but we're getting there although one of the uh high level high level people if you call them that calls this a crypto market technically speaking we're not at a crypto market yet but um some of you guys follow me for real estate so let's try to chat about real estate today real conversation i had with my buddy we were out for a run yesterday did 11k 11.5 kilometers uh nice run it's been a good while since i ran that but it's a nice run but i must talk about this okay his philosophy is i just want to get in the market like understandable he says my um what do you call them not realtor but his accountant said now's a good time to get in the market you can afford it you can afford three hundred eighty thousand up to four hundred thousand dollars <laughs> excuse me so he asked me when i when i can when i go and find a property to, to um to um that i want to buy do you mind coming with me mr man I said you know what i'll i don't have an issue with that if you're really looking to get in the market now i'll do that with you and what I'll do is give you an investor, investor pro forma. What's a pro forma, he asked. I said, picture reading a book. You're reading English. You're reading from left to right or left to right, whichever way it is you're seeing. I'm not sure on the screen here, but you're reading from left to right. And it makes English sense, English sense. I'm not sure what other scripts go. I know that I know. I believe Cantonese goes down or whatever. I don't know. But in English sense, I speak English. I don't understand English. English sense, it goes left to right. A pro forma, what that is, is just numbers. It's the entire breakdown of the house, right down to the, your debt service ratio. And you know with a certainty of what you're paying. He's like, yeah, yeah, okay, thank you, thank you, no problem. So this is what this is why we're, you know, I'm around. Because he knows I care. Now, take you back to the beginning of this. I asked him, what's your plan, man? What's your, what you, like, you're here now, you're back. He's an AMB, an aircraft mechanic, just got his license when he lived out in BC and moved back here. So he had lived here for about a year or so, bike road to work, was making apprentice, apprentice wages, said he wanted to uh, um, accelerate his game. So he moved out to BC, northern BC, went, lived out there, got his permanent residence, got his AME's license now. Now he can sign off aircraft once they're fixed, once he gets his ACA. His authority, his authority under TC to be able to sign on, not under TC, under the AMO, which is the air, the air maintenance operation, which is the maintenance, it's maintenance. So now he can sign off aircraft. Anyways, he said, I just want to get in the market. I'm like, I understandable, but now is not the time to do it. If you have patience, just wait. He's like, oh, Mr. Man, so you're, you're a cycle kind of guy. You understand cycles and you want to play the cycles. I'm like, that's exactly how you do it. You don't want to get your ass handed to you. He's like, but I will not get my ass handed to me. As long as I can buy a property, I just need to get in and I can make it work. All I need is tenants at that point. I'm like, understandable. Now, let me give you some experience here because this is stuff that you learn through experience and you can't get it from anywhere else unless you have experience to talk about it. But I want to get into real estate. My philosophy was the same. I just need to get in. I don't want to get priced out of the market. Did I understand the market then? No. I was learning how to buy a house. I wasn't focused on the market. I wasn't focused on cycles. I didn't understand cycles. Certainly understand them now. I'm living, I'm learning, I'm experiencing, I'm going through it now. So I'm giving you guys my experience here. I'm talking to you guys from what I am living through here. So I'm able to talk about this through experience. I'm not stupid smart. I'm not just book smart. I also put into, into theory what I tell you guys I'm doing. What I say I'm going to do, I fucking do. Part of my language. Anyways, I'm like, okay, so you just need to get people in there, you said, huh? He's like, yep, that's all I need. He's like, I, used, I lived in a place here in northern Ontario with near me. He's like, and I lived there with three other guys. And the person that was making, that owned the place was making bank. Understandable understandable i'm like okay so for you to get a place now you are approved of the 300 380 400 thousand dollars you got a place four hundred thousand dollars perfect your, your interest rate now is at what 5.85 percent i believe in canada is what it is right the um the i don't know what they call it the emergency no the 
There was another there was another interest rate. I don't remember the name of it. There was another interest rate you had to qualify for, but I believe that's gone now because that the interest rate right now is higher than that interest rate. So the interest rate of 484, $400,000 $400, at an interest rate of 5.85%, you'd be paying whatever that is. I'm not, I'm not sure in terms of the value. I'm a book smart person in terms of I need to, like, I'm physical. I need to see this stuff down on, in my computer, in my Excel sheet. In terms of math, give me the formulas, I can make this shit work. Give me the understanding, I'll make it work. Mental math in my head, not amazingly smart. So I use my computer for everything. I'm in Excel. Wizard, you need something done. I got that shit for you. So I said, picture this. You just need tenants now. Picture yourself in a house. $400,000. Your mortgage is X amount. Your property tax is X amount. Your insurance is X amount. Your utilities are X amount. Your live cost of living is X amount. Whether you live there or not, you have cost of living and expenses. Okay? You lock in for five years, fantastic. That's what typical retail investors do. Retail consumers do, not investors, retail consumers do. Retail investors, or, or, or investors, sorry, savvy investors keep theirs open. During inflation, I wouldn't recommend buying right now. When you keep it open, you're able to ride the wave up and down regardless of where it goes. When it's high inflation, you don't play that shit, you don't jump in the market. And I was telling them not to jump in the market. So, Picture now a, 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 a condition, the conditions where we live now, where workplaces are shutting down because their cost of living is too high. Their cost to operate their business is too high. Now you have your tenants already in this apartment and they get laid off because one of the first things that tends to happen is people get laid off from work. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But to save the cut expenses, one of the things that places tend to do is cut people out of their job and they try to make it work and their operation it eventually or inevitably reduces. And then that place eventually just never scrap up to the, to the graveyard there. And in Ontario, they are tenant friendly, not landlord friendly, they are tenant friendly. Meaning you as a landlord, learn this stuff, get to know what it's like in your area prior to you buying an investment property. In our area in Ontario, we have to go to what's known as the landlord tenant board. And this can be a real fight with these people to get be able to evict your tenants whether they pay rent or not so if your tenants out of rent out of out of a job and they have no rent and you now have no no way of paying your mortgage you got to pay your mortgage for your house that you live in or unless you live in there the house as well and they're not paying then you're on your own paying that you, you better hope and hope and pray you have planned this property out this property out properly that you have cash flow coming in regardless of how many how um, bedrooms are rented out. That strategy, when you have your own property, you live in that property too, and you rent it out to other people, that's house hacking. The way I started, I leveraged the prop, my house that I live in. That's one way, and that's called the HELOC, Home Equity Line of Credit. You leverage the house itself, borrow against the house to open up a new line of credit, and bought a house, so we leveraged the property. I feel we're in a good situ position still, because you plan it where you have cash flow still back to my story he was like i think i'll be okay as long as i rent it out i'm like okay understandable but when your five years is up and you reach maturity and you go into the bank and you're like okay let's reassess now can you afford this property what do you make and if you can't afford that property your house is gone it's the bank it's foreclosed on at that point if you can't afford it your interest rate has jumped up because we're going into what's known as a hyper hyper inflationary period I don't know how long it's going to last, but this is my first time experiencing it and going through it. So I'm learning, right? I could sell my properties off, but I want to figure this out and go through it. One property I might have to sell off. So he's learning now. He's learning, but he still wants to just buy a property. He's like, I, you, still, you still want to go by the cycles. I'm like, yeah, you have to. He's like, well, in aviation right now, we're hiring. We always need people. We always need people in aviation. Yeah, you do. You're doing it people in aviation. And this town I live in is a government town. And they're hiring more police officers and they're hiring more uh, lawyers and they're hiring more whatever else out there. But eventually everything comes to an end, regardless of where you're at in that ripple, whether you're in the center of that where that rock drops in the water and you've hit that first ripple, or you're at the end of it, way at the end there. Regardless of how big it is, 
You feel it. You better believe you feel it, right? It's not just about getting tenants. It's about getting the right tenants. It's about doing it at the right economic time. It's about forecasting it and planning it. And having a plan is the main thing. And having an exit strategy. You don't just do this with the intent that I'm going to make money. I'm going to make money. That's the want. That's the understanding. That's what you're working towards. But the plan is to be debt free, right? And to do that, you have to have a plan to implement. You need to follow your strategy and your plan. And if your plan is starting to buy the top, at the top, you might as well just give me your money now or give another real estate investor your money now because you're going to get your ass handed to you. You're not playing it right. Interest is a very important thing to factor in when you're purchasing a property. And going through what we're going through now, July 20th, Fed now launched 2023. Now is not the time to buy. You have Congress or bills being passed now where Congress cannot buy stocks anymore. Why can they not buy stocks anymore? Because something's going to happen. Something's going to collapse. Meaning these clowns, these Congress people, have sold off at the top already. So if you sold off with them because you're following that news, kudos to you. If you're still holding on to what it is and you, you think that you're being saved because Congress can't buy now, no more uh, insider trading, blah, 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 you're going to get your ass handed to you. Believe that. Believe that I'm not just making things up. If you don't believe me, ride that wave and let me know how it goes. Leave a comment down below. Right? I'm not right. I'm not wrong. Nothing is either right or wrong. Nothing is either good or bad. But thinking makes it so. It all depends on your mind state. All right? To get your mind state right, you need to do some things in your life. You need to work out. You need to eat well. You have to take care of your temple first before you can take care of any external temples. Just like one of the things you learn when you go on an aircraft. If the aircraft is going down and the oxygen mass drop and you try to help somebody else out, your ass might pass out trying to help somebody else. The two of you guys might die. But if you put that oxygen mask on yourself first, you can now turn around and help that other person. Whether that's your son, your daughter, your mother, your sister, your father, some random person beside you. If you pass out and he pass out, your ass is done. If you get that mask on and you can continue breathing oxygen into your lungs, you can help somebody else help help somebody else out because you now helped yourself out. You must work out. You must take care of the temple you've been given. You must eat well. You must take care of internally of the temple you are given. Meditation is a great way of doing this as well. Allowing yourself to be free. Allowing yourself out of everything. Allowing yourself to go camping. I don't know if you camp or not, but allowing yourself to free yourself from city centers, from all the noise. From all the everything taking place, you need the opportunity to just allow quietness into your life so you can think and you can strategize. It's not about when Lambo, it's not about when Moon, it's, it's about working hard and working smarter to get to where you're going faster. And when you have mentors helping you along the way, you will accelerate your speed at which you will gain success. I have a real estate mentor, I have a crypto. No, I'm not a crypto mentor. I have a real estate mentor. I have a trading mentor. In terms of crypto, I'm my own mentor. A lot of people know a lot of things out there, and I follow these people and learn from them. I follow influencers so I can get a weekly wrap-up of what happened during the week. Because during the week, I'm busy running. I'm busy researching. I'm busy looking up uh, laws, regulations, um, policies, frameworks, and reading about those from my understanding from my interpretation, from my niche of where I choose to look at in terms of crypto. So there are other people out here, out there who are looking at various other things completely to what I'm looking at. So if we all put our mind together, we get a nice holistic point of view, a different point of view than you would normally get anywhere else. So if you're looking to buy real estate, now is not the time. Fourth quarter coming out this year, guaranteed in September, you're going to hear some bad news something is going to happen more banks foreclosing you're going to hear real estate issues come december or end of the quarter when they when they banks are coming out with their earnings the earnings call at that point you're going to hear a lot of negative news a lot of banks that didn't meet their meet their quarterly projections at that point or the yearly projections at that point so they're going to be under because they have secu uh, commercial mortgage backed securities on their balance sheet and those are completely saturated right now because the dollar is being printed at such a high velocity, devaluing the dollar, 
driving up the price of real estate, making it unsustainable, pricing people out. That's how I know it's going to fall. It's not sustainable what's going on in Canada, in the US, in Australia, in Japan, in Europe, in Germany, around the world. But you have smart nations out there. You have China working together with Russia. And if you have negativity to say against me about this, then you need to check yourself and figure out why I'm saying this. You have the BRICS nations out there who cares about their people and tells people that in the next few weeks, if, you, if you're holding dollars, I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you. And now is the time to let go of it if that's what you're going to do so you can be successful. Now is the time I recommend this. This is what I'm doing. I'm Canadian. I put my wealth and securing my wealth in gold, in silver. Silver! I bought, I got, I had RRSPs and TFSAs. I liquidated all, well, I not, I'm lying. I liquidated my TFSAs, my RRSPs. I didn't withdraw them. I made a lateral move to what's known as a self-guided or self-directed RRSPs through Quest Trade. And I now have my RRSPs secured in silver. So I have physical silver that they have under custody. And now I can watch my silver on the market fluctuate. And I'm up $42 right now in silver because I bought low and just ride that wave if you're in early. I also hold physical silver. I also hold physical gold. I have firearms. I have food stored and ready. I have a place that I can get to, whether driving or walking, two locations. I found one near me and one about uh, 45 minutes away, if not about an hour away, I can drive to, to get myself some clean uh, spring water if I need to. I have two blue containers I fill up. I bought a hand pump that goes on top of it and spurts out water. That water itself is clean as it is, but to ensure our safety, I put that through a water filter still. So I get clean stream water, filter that, and then I have nice drinking water. I have a stock of rice. I have a stock of pasta. I have a stock of beans. I have canned food. I have my gummy bears. Who doesn't have who? Do, why would you not have gummy bears? Like, come on. Come on. I got cereals. Yes, I know they're called Monsanto this, Monsanto that. Um, I enjoy cereals. Well, not all of not all cereals. Let me let me get that clear. I enjoy cereals, certain ones. The ones I tend to eat are the ones that my partner eats because she's uh, gluten and whatever else free. Not that those are healthier or healthy by any chance, but I eat those ones because that's what she gets. I just alter my diet because I eat, I eat everything under the sun really, as long as it looks desirable and you know not something staring back at me. I'll eat it within means. Let me just say that. So I got my water, I got my food, I have my firearms, I have my ammunition, I have batteries, I have some boxes as well, because should it come to a point where I need boxes, I have a wood burning stove. I have means to start that fire, I have wood coming here, I have someone to help me cut that stuff. I have a way to sustain myself. I have a generator. Yeah, I'll show you guys that for another day. I have a generator here. Not This is foreign to me because you typically get a generator when you have an RV or a need to have a generator. I don't need to have a generator. I want to have one now because I feel something's coming. I've been giving weird signs, giving weird signs and say with my partner, she's been giving, given signs on our phones and things we read and the way we interpret things now, we see that something's coming. An emergency is coming. And things that show up, we get 9-11. There's something coming. Right? Whether you believe me or not, that's not my concern. I'm here to give you the news. You do with it what you want. That's not thing what you do. I'm just telling you what I've learned, what I know th from what I've been through, from what I experience and learn, and from my life. You take it as you want. I give it to you raw. I have no reason to hide that at all besides me hiding my identity. I'm talking from a place of experience, from one individual going through something to another individual going through something. We're all in this together. So if we're gonna be successful, we need to help each other. I'm here for you like you guys are here for me. Leave comments down below. If something you hear that I say is incorrect, by all means, help me learn so I can help you guys learn more effective as well. We're here just as people, just as humans, but just as people as a collective, we're fucking smart. You better believe that. With that, I'm about to come off this now. Catch you guys in the next one.